More than 40 science staff at Plant and Food Research are now actively involved in the global research program looking at Pseudomonas syringae pathovar actinidiae, a bacterial pathogen of kiwifruit vines. PSA was first found in New Zealand in late 2010, and plant and food research scientists have been working alongside the industry since the discovery. Plant and Food's research program is dedicated to finding the best methods of managing the disease, incorporating work in the lab and the orchard. This multi-pronged research program is funded by investment from both the industry, through Zespri, and from Plant and Food Research's own internal funding. One of those involved in the program is scientist Mike Manning. He's worked on plant pathogens and orchard management, particularly in kiwifruit, for over 30 years. Mike was one of the first scientists on the scene when PSA was first identified in New Zealand. Immediately the um, um, outbreak uh, was noticed. Um, we decided that one thing we could do for the industry is, is log the progress of disease, look at, in, um, looking at sort of uh, orchards as a whole, looking at um, canes and leaves, and sort of logging whether they um, had disease and how that's progressing. Plant and food research scientists in the lab were also involved from the start. Kerry Everett, a plant pathologist in Auckland, was a member of the team that originally identified the bacteria and has been involved in PSA research since that first step. Yeah, one of the first things we did um, as soon as we knew that PSA was here in New Zealand was we did a very quick um, literature search and um, put all the literature together in a, what's called, well, a literature summary, so it's a summary of literature. Um, and what we wanted to know is what was known about PSA worldwide and what was known about other closely related bacteria. Using the information already known about PSA and related diseases, a broad research program has been developed looking at how to best manage the disease in New Zealand conditions. In the lab, that's primarily aimed at finding ways to quickly identify and then control the bacteria. So we wanted to know in particular, how does PSA spread? How can we control it? We want to improve our diagnostics. Um, so that was one area of research that um, we've been looking at. So adapting our original diagnostic test, which was developed for conventional PCR, we've been adapting it to um, real-time PCR or quantitative PCR test. We've also been doing some product testing. Um, at the moment, there's actually only two, um, well, things that, you, that we know will control PSA and one is copper and they it has been field tested overseas and the other is antibiotics. Alongside this lab research further work in the orchard is looking at management of vines to reduce the spread of the bacteria. Orchard management protocols must incorporate a number of factors to limit the effect of PSA on the kiwifruit industry in the long term. We're looking for ways that we can manage the disease. Most, of disease. most diseases I've encountered that are serious like this, it's probably quite difficult to eradicate. We'd be looking for anything we can do to make up a management system that has like cogs in a wheel. You know, we have, we will do this as far as pruning goes or orchard management goes. We'll do this as far as putting um, protectant um, sprays on. And we'll also have a very important component, which would be resistance, which usually takes resistance in, a, in, a, in a, um, a commercial variety, usually takes quite a while to develop. New cultivars that are PSA resistant or tolerant will provide a long-term solution for the New Zealand industry. And these traits are being investigated and incorporated into the kiwifruit breeding program run by Louis Gear at Plant and Food Research in Tapuki. So at the moment we are looking at the uh, main genetic parameters of the disease. Genetic parameters is a bit of a jargon. What we are trying to look is, does this um, PSA offer opportunity for breeders to put forward a cultivar that is, will be resistant to it? And of course, resistant to PSA is only one of the traits. Then we need actually good fruit characters in it as well. So the work it has just started. This multi-targeted approach is hoping to deliver the best management practices to contain the disease in the short term with new tools, technologies and products to help the New Zealand kiwifruit industry manage PSA into the future.